She walks down the corridor in the extremely high adrenaline charged trauma unit and is manhandled every time a gurney gets transported in through the narrow corridors choked with equipment, med drones, automatons and patients. She flattens herself against the corridor wall as another rush of patients are floated in. The unmistakable hum of the drones punctuated by desperate medical instructions by the trauma teams are a sight to behold, such precision. In between squeezing through the tight corridors and the controlled chaos, she finally arrives at her destination. She quietly enters the observation room and manages to see this off-worlder. Gaunt, not because of hunger, but through growing up in a gravity-free environment, he looked well enough. Cole had not seen off-worlders before on Canton, but they were first-generation settlers. This man could be beyond the second generation. Can't even tell his age. I hope he pulls out of this so I can talk to him. Dr. Salah! Dr. Salah! Come! Come now! The call from Kathy sounded distraught. She is one of the few members of his team that was the bedrock of calm and complete professionalism. The frantic tone of a call made Salah drop whatever he was doing and rush to assist her. He maneuvered his way through the maze of corridors from his office to where Kathy was. Doctor, thank God you're here. Slow down, Kathy. Let me catch my breath. Go on, what's wrong? She pulled Salah to the room where Ahmad was. But it was empty. We were getting our equipment to get him out of the vac suit, all three of us. But when we got back, she pointed to the empty bed with a wide-eyed expression and, unable to fathom what had happened, Salah held her and squeezed it as he too was speechless. Abraham, listen to me. He has disappeared. Gone. We don't know what happened. My good doctor, how is that possible? Our home is not a megapolis. How could he have disappeared? Have you viewed the surveillance feed? Salah looked indignant at Ibrahim, the homestead administrator. That was the first thing we did. Nothing. One moment he was there, the next, gone. We looked at the timestamp. It was hardly a second and he disappeared. Ibrahim shook his head in disbelief. No, 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 impossible. I think the equipment malfunctioned. I will have Menachem and Joachim to look into it. In the meantime, inform security. He is probably wandering around or on his way home. You look tired, Salah. Go home and rest. I will let you know if there are any updates. Yes, this is Abraham. It worked. One instant, he was here. And in another, he was gone. Incredible. How did you displace and where is he now? He was pleased with himself. Anything for the common good. And of course, a credit or two never hurts. Abraham had always believed that the motherland back on earth had lost its purity. His parents taught him that as well as his entire community. This was the background back in the 21st to the 22nd century, due mostly to the adoption, although unofficially, of eugenics. In overlooked and often fringe areas on earth, it succumbed to populist movements as passed by the local leadership. The UNE had a difficult time to contain the spread. Eventually, it hastened the homestead movement. Thankfully, the ardent leaders had brought their flock with them to seek out the new frontier. Unfortunately, not all their followers left. The few that stayed created cells with cadres ready and willing to spread the word of purity. Fringe elements had jumped in and it became one of the major security undertakings for the UNE. Oh, I see there is another. Shall I plan? Not from here? Very well. I have received your <coughs> contribution. <laughs>